welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Jen and I'm a stay-at-home mom of three now since this video I have had our third baby but today I'm sharing a third trimester capsule wardrobe so these are pretty much all of the outfits that I've been wearing on rotation throughout the third trimester first up we've got this maternity skirt which I love it is super super soft very comfortable it has grown very well with the bump still fits great just a crop top here and just a baggy oversized warm sweater this is it <laughs> that's can't get much more simple than that can you <laughs> not really so totally basic outfit today just a simple black dress i knew that this dress would come in handy in the third trimester when the bump is huge <laughs> um and alas it has it's been great it fits great it's really comfortable we are in mid-october right now but to be honest when i'm just like hanging around the house inside i'm still pretty sweaty <laughs> i'm still pretty like running hot um so even though it's cold outside, if I'm not running errands or doing anything, I don't really need to like dress super warm. Plus throw on a big oversized sweater. The sweater I've been wearing the past couple days is like super warm, super hot anyway. So <laughs> that's fine. But um, yeah, that's the look of the day. Totally basic. Very simple. Black dress. Whatever sweater. Oh my gosh, Dash, are you okay? <laughs> You're a bit clumsy, bud. A bit clumsy. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. So, totally basic look today. Simple black dress. Throw on a sweater over it. Very easy. Alright, another day. Another outfit. Today I'm dressed a little more warm. Because I do have errands to run. And I do have a doctor's appointment. Um, my kiddo's playing with my air conditioner, which, yes, I still have in the bedroom hooked up, <laughs> even though it's mid-October in Maine. That's besides the point. Um, but so I've just got on this nice, I don't know, like knit, crocheted, so I don't know what this is. Um, but it's just very flowy. I wish I had a wide angle lens. I'm sorry, I don't, but very flowy very nice um it covers the leggings don't completely cover like my belly so the shirt uh covers what the leggings don't and i do like the back the back is very like open and pretty i look very tired i always uh i pretty much always look this way in the morning but i feel like especially with like the tail end of pregnancy your face just has this constant tired look um and i'm not wearing any makeup so you can see like how the, the dark circles around my eyes everything everything scars on my face everything normally to my doctor's appointments i like to wear dresses or skirts or whatever that way um if they're doing any like Kind of breath. If they're doing any cervical checks or anything, I don't really have to get undressed. I can just kind of pull stuff up. Um, but I think the high for today where we live is supposed to be like 52 or 56 or something. So it should be pretty cold. Um, it's like mostly cloudy out. So it should be like more so chilly. So I've got on leggings. These are actually new leggings. I bought, I did buy a three pack of maternity leggings off of Amazon. These are size small. I don't know what the brand is, but they're like buttery soft. They're so nice. I kind of wish they had side pockets because I do plan on using these obviously just like postpartum. These are probably gonna be just a regular pair of like very high-waisted leggings, which I like. That was a long-winded um, outfit of the day. Today's outfit, you guys have seen this dress if you've watched my channel at all. You've seen this dress plenty of times. 
Still fits great with the bump. Very comfortable, very nice. Just throwing a sweater over it because we are mid-October. Uh, getting pretty chilly out there. <sighs> Got a couple errands to run today, really. Just mainly get groceries, probably drop off some library books. Uh, not a whole heck of a lot. But this is the outfit of the day. Easy peasy. We are 39 weeks and five days, four days. I think I'm 39 and four days. Um, yeah, still fits. Not a maternity dress. This is just a normal, I don't know the brand. I've had it for years. Um, adjustable like spaghetti straps, but yeah. Just throw a warm sweater over it and I'm good to go. All right, today's outfit. Long, very long black dress. You've seen it before, still fits, still very comfortable. This is probably gonna be, this is what I plan on packing for my like going home outfit basically from the hospital. <laughs> Um, yep, but had a doctor's appointment today, uh, so I just wore this with a sweater over it. I actually haven't worn this sweater in quite a while. It is so incredibly soft. Love it, love it. Nice fall color, but it's very, I don't know if you can see, very long. Very long, very comfortable, very easy. That's how uh, <laughs> I like to live my life, very easy. Easy to get dressed, nice, comfy. <sighs> the bump is huge. We are 39 weeks and five days. So, this dress still fits. Still fits, still really comfy. All right, we are 39 weeks and six days. I am technically, or baby is technically due tomorrow. May or may not happen, we'll see. But <clears throat> today, just hanging around the house, it's a rainy day outside. I'm just doing laundry and cooking, cleaning house stuff. So outfit is pretty simple. We've just got like a mid-length black dress. Uh, you guys have seen this one before and it is, it's just a black like thick strapped dress and then this is just a crop top that I've put over it. Just to give it a little more something. <laughs> um, so just a crop top. It's got this pretty like lace detail, um, a little like ruching. Sorry about the lighting, a little ruching or something on the sleeves. Simple rib knit little crop top that I just put on top of the dress. Yeah, pretty simple. Very comfortable. Um, yeah. So this is the outfit of the day. Due tomorrow. We'll see. We are officially 40 weeks today. It's baby's due date and, uh, I don't see it happening. <laughs> um, who knows? We've got the rest of the evening. We've got throughout the night. We'll see. Fingers crossed. But I um, have a feeling this boy's going to be late, just like my second kiddo was. So we've got this dress. This is a non-maternity dress. I bought this two or three years ago from Old Navy, I believe. Pretty sure it's an Old Navy dress. Um, the buttons are like 
fake. They do not actually unbutton. Um, I have breastfed in this. You kind of just have to pull it down or pop out of the side. It's not the most convenient and throughout the day it will kind of stretch out the collar. Um, but you could just take a sleeve off if you wanted, whatever. So it is sort of breastfeeding friendly. Would be better if the buttons were real, am I right? But either way, it's very comfortable, very, very soft, and it is pretty thick, I have to say. I don't know. It's this like ribbed knit material, and it is, I don't know, it's so soft, and it's actually like warm for being a sleeveless dress that goes like just past my knee, because again, I'm really short. Um, it's very warm. Like it's, it's, it's a nice warm dress, honestly. And I have this beautiful sweater. I know I've shown this before. This is a Jessica Simpson sweater that I got off of Thread Up, but it just, I think it's, um, cashmere. It's like very, very soft, but it's got these different colors in it. And they just play really well off of this pink dress. So this is pretty much the only sweater that I pair with this dress, to be honest. The colors of the sweater, they just go really well with this dress. I don't know. I don't wear a whole lot of like bright colors. I'm sure you guys have realized that. Um, <laughs> this is really one of my more colorful pieces. But yes. 40 week bump today not much going on today just uh you know happy due date to baby who doesn't want to show up yet <laughs> we are 40 weeks and one day baby was due yesterday didn't think it was gonna happen didn't happen <laughs> um so 40 weeks one day I've been wearing this dress pretty much throughout my whole pregnancy. Thanks, Snowball. Um, I've been wearing this dress pre-pregnancy, during pregnancy. I'll be wearing it postpartum. It's just easy. It ties up at the top here. I usually pair it with this blue sweater that just so happens to look good with it. Cohesive. Um... It still fits really nice. It's a very long, it's definitely floor length dress. Um, and I don't know if you can see, if you can tell, really all the bump does is make it so that the dress is in the same length in the front and in the back. It just kind of is like this, which I can totally deal with. Doesn't bother me any. But I shared this dress in my last like maternity um, wardrobe and I'm sharing it again because I'm still wearing it <laughs> so there's that easy simple just hanging out at home mom life stuff the bump is very large baby has definitely dropped um, yeah should be here any day now let's hope 40 weeks and two days today. I shared this outfit in my last maternity wardrobe video. Um, it's just a very, like a spaghetti strap dress, full length. Um, if you can see, all the way down to my ankles, even with the bump. This is not a maternity dress, this is just a normal. I swear I got this thing at Target over 10 years ago. It, I, I bought it, I'm 32 now. I bought this when I was 18 or 19 for a funeral. Um, so yeah, I've had it a long time, still fits. It does have like a tie, if you can see, in the back here, well, right here. It does have a tie and that adjusts the straps so it can be tighter, looser, whatever you need. Um, yeah, fits the bump well, it's comfortable. Um, 
And then this is just a sweater that I got off of Thread Up last year, I believe. And for being like an open knit, it's quite warm, actually. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And I love that the pattern really shows up on something like a solid color dress that's black, nice and dark. The pattern of the sweater really shows. Um, so that's cute. That's nice. Very comfortable. <sighs> Easy, simple. Love the color palette. <laughs> um, yeah. Outfit of the day. Maybe today's the day. I don't know. We'll see. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I was looking up some statistics last night and they say um, if you've previously had a pregnancy that like went over the 40 week mark that you're more likely to have future pregnancies that go over the 40 week mark. So yeah, like I said, my last kiddo was five days late and I really only think she came because I got a membrane sweep that day. Ironically enough, this time around, I'm also getting a membrane sweep when I'm 40 weeks and five days along. So, yeah, if he's not out by then, he might show up that day too. And it just would be really funny if they both were born at 40 weeks and five days. <laughs> but, yep. So, like I said, comfy, simple, easy. What more could you ask for when you're this huge, right? Right. <laughs> okay. We are 40 weeks and three days. Still no baby. I keep hoping. Keep hoping. Um, but today's outfit is just some leggings, full length, maternity leggings all the way to my ankles. Um, and then just kind of like a, it's not super baggy, but it's baggy enough sweater. Um, it's got a nice a detail in the back. So I should probably get closer. Um, yeah. It has this nice tie in the back. Um, but otherwise just very soft. Um, very comfortable. Very nice. Kind of fits the Halloween theme, right? I'm striped. I'm striped out. My kid said I look like a real zebra today. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it, I guess. Uh, yeah. Easy outfit. But very comfortable. Hanging around the house today. Probably not doing much. Except going for a walk honestly if I can just walk this baby out I'll do it I'll do it but that's our uh that's our outfit of the day friends simple easy nothing fancy but I'm dressed you're welcome <laughs>